we'll get started and come on to our backs. And see what would be comfortable for you. So if you like having the legs straight, straighten the legs. If you like bending the knees, go ahead. Maybe you want to rest them together. Maybe you want to open them out. And also your arms can be out away from the body or you can see if it feels helpful to put your hands on your belly and your chest just to encourage the breath to flow from bottom to top. And then it can be helpful to close the eyes so that our attention is more focused inward with no visual distraction. And if that's not comfortable for you, then just lower your gaze and keep your gaze fixed rather than looking around. And we'll just start with one really nice deep breath in through the nose Exhaling out of the mouth, feeling the weight of the body sinking into the ground on the exhale. See if you can feel the heaviness of the body in all those places where it touches the ground. slowly moving your awareness through your body and feeling that release downward. Even imagining that the organs in the body are dropping back toward the floor. And then notice your breath. If your insides are relaxed and your belly is relaxed, you might be able to feel the breath coming in fully into the belly. Inviting the belly to swell as you breathe in and to shrink as you breathe out. And then the next breath after the belly is full, keep the inhale pouring in to the ribs, the solar plexus, sinking back down as you exhale. And on your next breath, after you breathe into the belly and then breathe in to the ribs, continue to breathe in to the chest. The exhale will come out in reverse order, chest, ribs, belly. So really it's like the ocean coming up onto the shore. Coming in and then receding out. Okay, and then lift your feet in the air, coming into like a table position with your shins. Press your belly into your back to press your back into your belly. And then 
slowly lower the heels down to the ground without releasing the pressure of the lower back against the ground. And then also you're not gonna bend your knees any more than this right angle that we start with. So you're lowering from the hips. I like to inhale as I lower and exhale as I come up, but see what works for you, coordinating with your breath. Using your abdominal strength to press your back into the floor. It'll want to arch up when you lower your legs, and we're just going to resist that. And then bring the knees into the chest, letting your belly and back relax. And notice how the breath feels when the thighs are up against the belly like this. And come back to your table position. Send the arms straight up in the air. And then on an exhale, we're going to curl the head up and lift and bring the arms to frame the right leg and then come down and stay on the right side. Coming up on the exhale, inhaling down. If you want to make it harder, you can straighten that left leg and bring it up. And then switch sides. If it hurts your neck, you can put your left hand behind the back of your head just for support. Three more. And then hug the knees in again. And then as you exhale, really hollow out the belly and pull the knees in all the way as much as they'll go. And then come back to your table. Take the arms out to the side. And then as you exhale, drop the knees to the left. 
without touching the ground. And then inhale center, exhale other way. And if you wanna straighten your legs to make it more challenging, go ahead. If fully straight is too challenging, then you know you can play with shades of gray. Doesn't have to be all the way bent or all the way straight. One more on each side. And then come back to center. Straighten the legs. Point and flex the feet. Send the arms up in the air. So you're creating like a capital U shape with your legs and arms. Okay. And then rest the feet. Press up through the heels. And then just bring the arms overhead and bring them back up. If you want to work more, when you come back up, you can come up into a crunch. Two more. And then release the feet down. Let the knees open out to the side. Soles of the feet together. Bring the arms out to the side. Coming into a reclining diamond. And just let the breath spread out into the hips. And imagine that you're breathing into your hands and your knees. And then lift the knees up toward the chest, cross the feet at the ankles, bring the hands onto the knees. And we're gonna rock and flip over the feet. One hot. Okay. Now we're going to have the hands, about a hand's length in front of the shoulders, knees hip width apart, spreading the fingers wide. 
And then roll the insides of the elbows to face front. So you're spiraling the elbows to face your thighs. Curl the toes under, take a breath in. And then on an exhale, lift your knees, press forward through the hands, press back through the thighs. And roll your shoulders down your back. Press the hands forward again without separating the shoulders from the torso. Let the chest sink down toward the thighs. Let the head drop toward the floor. Press the thighs back again. Press the heels down. And then press the inner ankles toward the outer ankles. Press the index fingers and thumbs into the ground and push forward. And then breathe, belly, ribs, chest. When you exhale, sink down. Imagine you're trying to fold your upper body over your legs. And then walk the hands back to the feet. Bend the knees. Bring your hands on top of your knees. Looking up so that your back is arched. Good. And then we're gonna do like a cat and cow here. So pushing down with the hands, inhale and look up and then exhale, ground. And then inhale, tailbone curls up, eyes curl up, exhale, tailbone curls down, spine rounds, chin drops to the chest. Just like cat and cow, we're starting at the tailbone and then working one vertebra at a time up toward the head. Remember to drop your head on the exhale. Beautiful. And then keep your knees bent and lift your arms up. Then drop your tailbone. Draw your belly in. Pull your shoulders down. Spread your fingers and reach up through the fingers. Breathe slowly and deeply. And then straighten your legs. Interlace all your fingers except index fingers. Inhale and lift your ribs up out of your hips. And then exhale, send your hips to the right your arms and head to the left. You might like to rest your head on your left arm. And then push down into your right foot and pull your right hand with your left hand. Breathe deep and slow. On your next inhale, come up, lift tall, and exhale, hips left, 
arms and head right. You can rest your head on your underside arm if you want. And then really press that left foot down. Pull long through the hand, using the right hand to lengthen the left arm. Exhale, sink. Inhale, deep. Inhale up, and exhale, release the arms down. Roll the shoulders. And relax. Now we're going to inhale and lift the arms, lift the chest, Send the arms and head back behind as far as we can. And then exhale and fold forward, dropping the head. And we're gonna do this rapidly if possible, or if not possible, however you can do it. In, out, in, out. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more. Beautiful. And then come to stillness. Maybe close the eyes and feel the reverberation. Turn the breathing to slow. And come and step a step to the front of your mat. And lift your toes and spread them wide and lower them back down. And if you're comfortable doing so, please close your eyes. And then just slightly rock, very so slightly, shifting weight from the toes to the heels, very slowly, very slowly. And then see if you can feel the place along the way where there's just as much weight in the heels as the toes and settle in there. And then press the feet and legs down into the ground and lift the spine and head up toward the sky. Three belly ribs, chest. And then bend your knees. Come back to that feeling of the weight being balanced between the front and back of your feet. Let your eyes open, finding a spot in front of you to rest your gaze on. Let your mind rest on the feeling of your breath. 
Be very deliberate about your breath and very mindful of your breath. And then shift weight into your left foot and really feel how heavy that left foot becomes. And then sink the left shin down even more. And then place the right ankle above the left knee. And then let your eyes draw a line from the place where you started gazing down onto the floor, all the way to your left foot as you fold over your right leg. You can bring your right hand onto your knee. You can bring it inside that triangle and wrap around your calf. You can let the arms hang, see what works for you. When you exhale, scoop your belly in and up and try to fold over a little bit more. Stay connected to your breathing, it'll help the balance. And then lift up and step that right leg all the way back. Staying on the toes of your right leg, the left knee is bent. Press your right thigh back really strongly, almost like you're going to touch your back heel to the floor, but don't. Unless you have crazy flexible ankles and your heel actually can come to the floor without angling the foot. Okay, and then shift the weight of the hips forward. Tuck the tailbone under. Clasp your hands behind the back and lift the hands up away from the back. And then feel your breath spreading inside your body. On your next exhale, fold forward and lift those arms. Drop your head. You might want to look at your back foot. You might want to pull your hands apart to try to get them a little higher. You might want to breathe a little deeper. And then bring the hands to the ground. Walk them forward a little bit as you shift weight into your left foot. And lift your right leg all the way up, folding over your left leg. Really push down into your left foot and really reach up through your right toes. And then when you lower the leg down, lower it so that it's not quite at the back of your mat anymore. Lower it at a place that allows the front leg to stay straight and the back leg straight with the foot on an angle. And then inhale and look up and exhale and fold forward. And again, you're going to scoop that lower belly in and up. And for those of you whose hands happen to come to the floor and they certainly don't need to, if anything, that's an impediment, you want to take weight out of your hands. So they're just touching, but not pressing. And then shift weight a little bit from your left foot into your right foot a little more. Breathe deep and slow. And then bring your right hand as close to your left foot as possible. 
So for some of you, you may be able to cross it to the outside of your foot. That's going to be a deeper version of our twist. The inside is fine. We're going to take the left hand onto the hip and try to straighten the spine, pulling the hips back and bringing the chest forward. And then exhale, draw the belly in and up and to the left. Turn your gaze up and lift the arm up. Revolved triangle. Breathe all the way up into the chest. Release that left arm down. Bring the hands to the ground with the front knee bent. Step the back foot up. Tuck the chin, round your back, roll yourself up. Reach the arms up as you inhale. And exhale the arms down. Just resting the arms by your side. Closing the eyes if you can. Feeling the breath. Feeling the feet. And then we're going to do that little gentle slow rocking. Feel the weight coming into the balls of the feet and the toes. And then slight shift, bringing weight into the heels. times and then finding that sweet spot where the weight is balanced across the front and back of the feet and then bend your knees and see if the weight can stay the same but perhaps just heavier so bending the knees might really allow that feeling of grounding down into the feet. And then feeling the breath. See if you can stay connected to the breath as you open your eyes. Look at a spot in front of you. And while you're still feeling your breath, lift your left ankle up above your right knee. And then draw a straight line down with your eyes to the floor. As you bend over, bringing your gaze toward your right foot. And finding whatever position with your hands works for you. Deep breathing, feeling it spreading into your back ribs or wherever you may feel that. And then scooping the belly in and up as you exhale. And then lifting up, step your left foot back. So the foot is going to be straight with the heel off the ground. The front knee is going to be bent. And you're going to press back through that left thigh as much as you can, like you're trying to touch the heel to the floor. If the heel comes to the floor, you might have the foot slightly at an angle and then just correct that. And then aim the hips forward, tuck the tailbone under. Reach your hands behind you, come into your less habitual cross of the fingers. Sorry, I didn't ask you to remember how it was before, but you know exactly which one you wanna do and then just do the other one. 
fold the shoulder blades in toward each other, lifting the arms away from the body, lifting the chest, breathing in deeply to the heart. Keep pressing the hips forward and the tailbone under and the left thigh back. You can see how it feels to pull your hands apart. And then on your next exhale, fold forward, dropping your head down, maybe looking at your back foot, lifting your hands up. Then release the hands, bringing them to the floor. And then walk the hands forward a little bit so that the weight is fully into your right foot as you lift your left leg, coming into a standing split, pressing down into your right leg, lifting up and reaching out of the left toes, holding over your right leg. And then we'll lower that left leg down, keeping the front leg straight, and bringing the left foot at an angle, both legs straight. Inhale and look up. And then exhale, scoop the belly in, fold over your front leg, relax your hands and arms. And then shift weight a little bit from your front foot to your back foot. Stay connected to your breathing. And then lift your head. Bring your left hand over toward your right foot. And it might even be able to cross to the outside. If your hands don't reach the ground here, then the hand can always come onto the shin if you don't have a prop handy. It's generally a good idea to have props if you're not able to touch the ground. And then we'll bring the right hand onto the hip. Don't be in a hurry to move into the full expression of the pose. Let's take our time. Straightening the spine, pulling back through the right hip, bringing the heart forward, lengthening through the torso. Take a breath into the length. And then as you exhale, roll your belly up and to the right. Take your gaze up and to the right, and then lift your right arm up. Deep breaths are your friend here. Every time you exhale and draw the belly in, try to twist. Okay, bring the right hand down, bending into the Right knee, both hands on the ground. Step the left foot forward. Tuck the chin. Roll yourself up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Bring the palms together and then bend the elbows and bring the thumbs to the upper back. And reach up through the elbows as you breathe in and slide those thumbs down as you breathe out. Feel your capacity for full breath here in this posture.
and then send the palms up and back down in front of your chest. Step the legs wide apart, releasing the hands. You have the feet splayed out at an angle. And then bend into the knees. Take the arms out to the side, bend into the elbows, making cactus arms. You can bring the index fingers to the thumbs or have the palms open. And then drop the tailbone and drop the shoulder blades down the back and into your goddess pose. And then straighten the legs, take the arms out to the side, take the heels as wide as the toe, baby toes now. So the feet are facing front. Take a breath in. And then exhale, folding forward, bring your hands to your outer legs and slide them down as far as they'll go. Wrapping the hands around the shins or the ankles or the heels. And then take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, give a little pull with your hands, drawing your torso closer to your thighs. Lift the thighs up, letting them hug the bones. Lift the belly up as you exhale. Then see if you can just wag your tail a little bit without bending knees. So you're just going to like lift the left buttock as you drop the right one and then switch from side to side. And then come back to stillness. Release the hands. If they can touch the ground, bring them to the ground. And then bring the heels in. Bring the toes in. Bring the heels in again. Bend the knees and drop the hips. Bend the knees and drop the hips coming into a squat. So I'll give you two options. You can just work with this stretch, bring the hands together or the fists, or maybe one hand and one fist, or you can try to do a hand balance, bringing the hands to the ground and spreading the fingers wide. Hands are shoulder width apart. And then you lift the heels, you lift the buttocks like a stink bug, and then you shift your weight all the way forward. You keep moving forward until the elbows line up over the wrists, at which point you can lift your feet off the ground. Okay, if you're doing the balance, bring your feet back down. And then we'll all sit on the buttocks. Crossing the, the legs any way that you want. And we'll just, in case some of you were doing the arm balance, we'll just stretch out those wrists, bringing the backs of the hands together. 
and pressing the elbows down. Good, and then circle the hands around. Circle the other way. And then rest the hands on the shoulders. Circle the elbows around. Coordinate with your breath. Slow breathing, slow movement. Circle the other way. And then release the hands. And then circle the nose around in the air. And reverse. And relax. And then bring your feet to the ground in front of you. We're going to lay back slowly if you can you can bring your hands to your knees if you don't want to uh, work the abs for this otherwise bring the hands to the chest a little easier as the hands forward a little harder as the hands up in the air lowering down slowly with control and with breath Once you come down, let the hands rest on either side of your hips. Bring the feet in so that the ankles are under the knees, feet are hip width apart. Good. We're going to inhale and lift the hips and then if you can clasp your hands together under you, do that. We're all gonna try to roll the shoulders under us. If your hands don't reach, you might wanna grab hold of either side of your mat and pull kind of away from you with your hands. Beautiful. And then we're gonna send the right leg out so that the knees are still side by side. Push into the left foot and lift your hips. Take weight into your upper arms and shoulders. Breathe deep. Lower the right foot. Extend the left leg. This is optional, of course. Everything I say is optional. Just an invitation to do this. And then lift your hips, pushing forward into your right foot. And release the foot down. Lift your hips. Lift your back ribs. Press your feet forward. Pull your hands apart if you're clasping them. And then release hands and lay your spine down one vertebra at a time.
And then bring the knees in. Wrap your hands around the bottoms of your feet. I like to take my feet from the inside. And then lift your feet to the height of your knees. Head is on the ground. Chin comes in toward the throat. Take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, drop the backs of your shoulders toward the ground. Lay your tailbone down. Deep in your breath. Feel where your breath is and your posture. And then release the feet. Hug the knees into the chest. And then just make some circles around, keeping your legs as one unit, circling in one direction, maybe closing the eyes and feeling like you're drawing a circle on the ground with your lower back. Like there's a face of a clock underneath your lower back and you're just going around all the numbers and then reverse directions. And then let the feet come down. Lift the hips just enough to tuck the tailbone under. And come right back down. Release the legs, shake them out. If you're using an eye pillow, you can place that on your eyes now. And then let the arms rest out away from the body with the palms facing up. Eyes are closed if you are comfortable, otherwise gazing down. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, sinking the body into the ground. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the jaw down and the lips slightly apart. Inhale deep. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind. Bringing your mind into focus by feeling your breath. And then letting go of the breath so that you're not trying to breathe. You're just letting breath happen. And just see where you feel that and how it feels. Maybe the breath has become very short or rapid or shallow. That's totally fine. Just trust that the breath will do what it needs to do. And just rest your attention curiously on the feel of the breath. Letting go of control and letting go of judgment. Just being with it for the sake of being with it. And if the mind wanders off from the breath, the moment that you've noticed that, great. That means you're already back from your trance, your daydream. And then you can come back to feeling the breath again and again. Deeply relax. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go.
Breathe into your heart and fingers and toes. Reach the arms overhead, take a deep breath, stretch long. Hug the knees to the chest, rocking gently from side to side. Feel the ground massaging your back. Come center, rub hand to hand and foot to foot. Soles of the feet together, palms together. And then roll over onto your side. Resting your head on your underside arm. Resting your awareness in whatever's here right now. Sensations, emotions, thoughts, images. And then when you're ready, press your free hand into the ground in front of you to push yourself up sideways. And then come to sit any way that's comfortable for you. Sinking down into the sit bones, lifting tall through the crown of the head. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Inhale the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. Namaste. Thank you.